your godliest life it is very individual it is something that is very personal it is something that you do for yourself and when you do this you know when I'm sitting like this and I feel God where do I feel God ah it is not the verse of the Bible. It is not what Nala programmed you to do. It is the cue within your life. There are some cues. Is Manchester Kings of Nala World of Plenty Teleport on World of Plenty TV? Divine prophetic dots for your day. Is Manchester Kings of Nala? His Majesty King Sunnah, the Prince of Jesus. Hey, we can have this in the days. He goes Sunnah, the Bukhon. His Majesty King Sunnah, the Prince of Jesus. Being a godly person does not mean that you have to have an affiliation with any church. You see, one of the things that has messed things up, we think our organization is mandate, and spirituality is one and the same thing. In fact, sometimes our organization is not when we are spiritual. We have a constitution in our church. What is the constitution for? It's when in case somebody take us into court, in case some, a split come up, so if we are going to go to the court of this world, we're going to need what? A constitution. a constitution is the highest law of any organization of any nation or, or country. I don't know if you are hearing this. So don't confuse the Nala Mandate your spirituality or your godless life. Are you hearing? Your godliest life, it is very individual. It is something that is very personal. It is something that you do for yourself. And when you do this, you know when I'm sitting like this and I feel God, where do I feel God? Ah. It is not the verse of the Bible. It is not what Nala programmed you to do. It is the cue within your life. There are some cues that tells me I'm heading to the right direction. There are some cues that money is coming. There are some cues there are some challenges coming. Yeah. I know yes. when somebody is going to come and demand on me. I know when the debts are on the way. Yes. I know. Yes. I know when bad news are coming. Yes. I don't need a Bible. I don't need to pray now. Because I live a godless life. I've been communicating with God. So what I, if you see me standing right in the midst of the preaching and say something by the Spirit, sometimes I didn't hear God. They accuse that I know. When this happens, this is what is going to happen. Hallelujah. As African people, we've never had a political or religious organization. We've never had a, 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 what was the name of the church. As a result, my grandmom was a Zionist. But I don't know her affiliation. But she was prophesying. She, she had her own life. She, she 
Divine cues. You're going to miss what God is saying to you. You will end up entering into a debate when there is no need for debate. All you need to do to avoid the debate, especially as a plaintiff, share your own experience and say, I can only talk what I know. When they say the Bible, say, and say, I don't know the Bible. I don't know who wrote the Bible. But Jesus says, say, I don't know Jesus. Can you prove it for me? Do you have any evidence? Avoid! Because you're going to miss your Jesus. Because the Jesus we have today is a name crafted 500 years ago. But Jesus died 2,000 years ago, more than 2,000 years ago. Who crafted that name? So those are the things that we need to get into our minds. His Majesty, King Somnath, the angel of Jesus. Hey, we can have this one for the days of the Ghost of Land, the poor. His Majesty, King Somnath, the angel of Jesus. Majesty Kings of Nana, World of Plenty Teleport on World of Plenty TV. Divine prophetic dots for your day.